Hey folks, so I got something a little bit different today. Uh, for those that don't know, this is a computer mouse. No, I'm kidding. Uh, well, I mean, it, it, it is, but <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, this is a an old Razer Naga um, based on the model name. I'm guessing it's about six years old at this point. Uh, I bought this on Craigslist quite a few years ago because um, I had just purchased one of these and, you know, I actually really like the mouse. I happen to really dig all the buttons and inputs and stuff. Um, I was really into WoW at the time. I mean, who wasn't? And, uh, you know, it's just a really cool mouse. This one is RGB and wireless, and I've already had to put a new battery in it. Razer Help, um, I contacted them about it. I said, hey, my battery is kind of expanding. That's not very good. And they said, oh, well, here's the specs. Go buy one. I'm like, oh, not really what I wanted, but okay, thanks. Uh, anyway, um, I'm thinking this thing might be due for another battery again because lately I've been grabbing it out of the dock to play and it's at like 3% battery. Of course, now it's fine because it's not blinking, but um, yeah, and instead of trying to figure out the issue with that, I just whipped out the one I bought off Craigslist and started using that instead, but I'm noticing, I don't know, it's it's not quite the same. Um, I don't know if I'm off my game or what. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking it might just be the fact that this one isn't RGB because as we all know, um, RGB increases your gaming performance, you know, by like 10 times. And this one of course is only green. And um, you know, this, this one will do any color. I have it set to pink now because that matches my keyboard. And uh, well, unfortunately, I can't really do anything to convert this one to RGB, but I do got some LEDs, so let's see if we can't get that installed. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's get started and uh, see if we can't at least get this to match my keyboard, because I'm not going to be able to get it. There's no convenient way to make convert this thing over to RGB. And at the very least, I need it to match my keyboard because I gotta spend more time setting up my peripherals than actually playing like any true PC gamer. If I recall correctly, it's just the two screws under these pads. Heat definitely helps to get these off, but I didn't think about that ahead of time. Try not to ruin them either, because while they can be replaced, I'd rather not have to. Right. And I think it's just two. Huh. There's also another problem. I do have an ulterior motive. The uh, scroll wheel, it seems to not work the way it should. Uh, I can qualify that, but I don't feel like it. Is there another screw under there? There might be another screw under there. There might be one under the label right there, too. Potentially two more screws. I should probably have looked this up ahead of time, huh? Before I make a fool out of myself. Oh god, this thing's gross. I guess that's what I get for buying things on Craigslist without uh, cleaning them. That is not a screw. That is a screw. Let's peel this whole thing off make sure there's not more hiding. Ah, there was one more hiding. All right, clearly I need to uh, take some time to clean this thing as well. Ugh. 
I'm thinking let's also uh, replace these switches because why not have these cool silent ones? I did my um, Logitech MX Anywhere 2 with those switches, those kale silent ones, and I'm really happy with how that turned out. I've been using that thing ever since I did that video. And I've had uh, nothing but great experiences with it since. I mean, as great an experience as you can have with a mouse. So my issue with this thing is sometimes it like it'll click multiple times per click and it'll like jump around. Uh, I was hoping this was an optical sensor. I could probably just clean it, but it is clearly not an optical sensor. It looks like it's a rotary encoder of some sort. So I'm going to have to try and look up that part and see if I can't order it. I imagine it'll just be a cheap Chinese off the shelf encoder or something. That's what these mice usually are anyway. Uh, unfortunately there's no part numbers. Maybe I can crack that open and clean it, but I'm not going to try. I'm not going to worry about it. It's really not that bad. Uh, I don't think I have to do anything on this board. Oh yeah, I want to try swapping out the buttons. Why not? What's the worst that could possibly happen? Aside from the fact that I don't have them ready. That's okay though, they're right on top in my parts drawer. I'm pretty sure I gotta replace this LED anyhow. Is that an LED? Why is there an LED there? Let's find out. These are not the 2014 lighting. On. Yep, that is an LED. So that is um, blinking. That was weird. Uh, I thought that was going to be a surface mount LED, and I thought it was going to be in here somewhere, but clearly that's not the case. I'm not too worried about it because I usually have this logo off because I think it looks tacky as fuck. But that's neither here nor there. There are no LEDs up here, so I can just leave this as is. I should probably take it apart further because this thing clearly needs to be cleaned, but that's, uh, that's a problem for future Mako. All right, this is the part I need to pay attention to. Bracket. And yeah, that's definitely gross. Fun fact the code name for this mouse is Lynette, apparently. Right. So. That soldering looks like it's going to be an absolute pain in the see you next Tuesday. Because it's in between all those buttons. My iron doesn't even fit. Cool. Does this one fit is the question. That one fits, but I have a hard time desoldering these. That's cool. I'll make it work. Turn that on now. All right. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight LEDs to replace. Funny how there's only six LEDs for that whole thumb grid and then uh, two for the thumb wheel. Uh, these are really nice buttons. While that's heating up, I'm gonna grab some clicky buttons. Or I guess non-clicky buttons. Just have a Ziploc baggie with all my parts in it. These are just the buttons. They should be easy to find, but I have out oh, there there. I was just about to say I've clearly overestimated myself. All right, so these black ones I think came out of my. Um, Elecom trackball or something. Can't remember. But these gray ones are the ones I want. And I can only replace two of them. But that's fine. What? No, you can't have those. Those are my buttons. That's what I get for putting them on the floor. Okay. Soldering iron's probably heated up by now. And I have no idea how to desolder this without being able to get at it from the side. I hope I don't need to salvage or go back to these LEDs or something. Because there's no way that's still good after doing what I just did to it. Also, that's not marked. That's frustrating as hell, heck. Ah. Oh. Well, thanks for watching, guys. No, I'm kidding. I'm going to plug this back in. Not quite sure which way it went. Okay, so the bottom side is ground. It's probably the same for all of these. Might as well check them all while I'm here. Yeah. So far, so good. Cool, yep. They all face the same way, so that makes it a lot easier. So that means I don't have to be careful about removing these, I hope. Now the way I should be doing this is uh, if I remove these buttons I can get at these LEDs from the right angle, from the correct angle. I'm already getting at them from the right angle. So 
It's not too bad, though. Probably going to have a heck of a time re-soldering them, though. I'm going to cut seven off this roll, because I know me. We'll come back for the remaining two later. I have already tested these. They do work. They're not quite the color I was expecting, but good enough. What you want, bud? Sorry. Forgot I was filming there. Let my inner redneck out for a second. Right. So I cannot, for the life of me, remember which is which. I'm pretty sure the green line, if you can see that, uh, oh, Christ. <laughs> Where'd that go? There it is. You see all this crap that's falling out of the mouse? That's so gross. Okay. Pretty sure the green line designates the um, negative, and it points to the positive on these style LEDs, which, if I'm correct, means this needs to go in this way. I'm just going to do one LED and then test it. Make sure that's actually correct. And I just soldered it in crooked. Isn't that wonderful? Screw it. Let's test it. Or get committed to fixing it. Nope, it's backwards. Bummer. Yeah, it looks to be off to me. I don't even think I need to desolder that. Probably should, but... Or disconnect, rather. Let's try another one, huh? Alright, this time, facing the other way. You missed it! That's what you get for blinking. Well, yeah, I got it right the second time. So I'm going to have to swap these around. And fun fact, in the time it took my camera to cool down, I completely forgot which way I installed that. So we're going to have to do that all again and guess and check. Um, another fun fact, I while I was waiting for the camera to cool down, I did end up cleaning up the rest of the mouse, or most of it, except for the part that's still on screen here. Don't use rubbing alcohol on the thumb grid. If you do, it will turn the uh, black bottom light mask part, I guess. Um, it'll take the coating right off that. Um, ask me how I know. And uh, if you don't believe me, just rewind the footage and you can check yourself. This was black all the way through. The buttons themselves are fine, and the um, grid that holds it all together is still fine. But 
yeah. Don't do what I did. Anyway, I guess let's uh, let's keep going here. So I'm pretty sure we determined that, well, you probably already know, especially since it just happened 30 seconds ago for you, um, which side is which, but I'm pretty sure we determined that uh, it points towards the negative, which would mean that this needs to flip over like that, and then it would end up going in like that. Hopefully I don't short anything. Yep. Okay, cool. So let's unplug that and get that soldered in. What are you trying to get at? I'm not sure that one's making contact on that side. I'm not sure I didn't just melt it doing that either. Sorry you can't see much. I'm not really set up for this really fine surface mount soldering. I can zoom in more, but unfortunately... Um, and then my hand won't fit. I suppose I could try out the optical zoom on the camera. Ah, yeah, screw it. Let's try out the optical zoom. Let me just get this one tacked down. I never liked optical zoom because I always figured it uh, was basically just cropping the resolution. But I've also never tried it on this phone. So I suppose I can't judge too soon. I know this phone is also capable of 4K, so I don't know if it... Uh... Yeah, I don't know how it works on this phone. Looks awful pixelated in the preview though, so I'm gonna apologize if it is. Alright, LEDs normally don't survive desoldering like that, but let's try this one out anyway. touch up that leg that I accidentally hit and that one too. Nice. Let's try it out. Nice. Yes. Okay. Sorry. I'm entirely too excited about that. Okay. Um, let's do thumb wheel now. Uh, 
Uh, I'm gonna have to check this one too. Alright, so that's still green. That's not acceptable. And I'm willing to bet the red is on the left. Good lord. Realistically, I should just jam that in there. And then if I touch that there... Can't see squat. Okay, so that side on that one is the positive. Are these? Great, so the middle on both of these is negative. Or ground, however you wanna. So this should be much easier to desolder. I could even switch to my other iron if I wanted to. I don't care about these, so I'll just use the solder ball method. Now I said these should be easier, and uh eating my words right about now. I'm not sure how I had it so much easier on the other one. All right, so I only got one LED to make it count. No, I'm kidding. I got plenty more. Let's see which side this goes on. Man, am I glad I bought the correct size? Ooh, I don't want to solder that hair. Correct size LEDs. Alright, that's one. Let's get one more. And I think we're done with all the surface mount soldering. making a mistake by not putting the soldering iron down to do this. There we go. All right. These are cheap LEDs, so I fully expect them to lose their brightness after, like, a week. I'll be disappointed, but I won't be surprised. Let's test it out. 
Nice. Alright, one more. This big one. And let me double check the polarity on this one too. It's probably easy to figure out, but wait for it to come on. There we go. So I got it right. Bottom one is ground, top one positive. Oops. Not having a lot of luck with this thing. Let's try some of the secret ingredient. There we go. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Zoom out. And I didn't know that this one was just three millimeter LED, so I am not prepared. I've got, well, that's convenient. These are probably pink based on the PK. Alright. So that's obviously upside down, but I'll worry about that in a second. Just want to double check that I got everything right. And it's on pulsating mode for whatever god awful reason. There we go. So I had it backwards. I was in for a bad time. Easy enough. Oh, I suppose I could have just looked at the markings on the other side. Had I known they were there. fell out. Let's try that again. There we go. Crop these leads. And I just like clean it up. I don't like the look of those cropped leads. Okay, last but not least, we're going to go ahead and do the buttons too. There's nothing wrong with the buttons on this one in particular, but I just really like the, uh, the uh, quiet buttons, the kale ones. So let's swap them out, huh? In my experience, it's almost easier to desolder these like this. Just keep running back and forth till it drops out. I'm 
instead of getting the uh, solder sucker and well, we'll have to use the braid to clear out the holes but now we'll try the solder sucker there's a lot of solder in these holes Hmm, worked better for the other one. Don't know why I'm struggling with this one. You know what? Here's an idea. Let's trim that flush. Almost got it. Not get this stupid thing. That was ridiculous. Okay. I'm gonna apologize if the camera cuts out, but I think it should be clear to get the suck going. I should put this in my vise too. I need to lift this up. So the button's not working. That's cool. Not get it this time on this one. Look at all that solder, holy shit. What am I doing wrong here? I'll switch irons. No, I'm not. I'm going to wait. I'm going to have to take a break in just a second here anyway. I think. All right, we're in the final stretch here. Uh, sorry, I finished up desoldering this nonsense. I found an angle that worked for me, and then I looked up and saw that the camera was done. Um, but no matter. Uh, you saw me do the first two. The other four weren't that much different. Uh, but once those are desoldered, these should slide in there. Of course, I did a piss poor job of desoldering. We and someone's trying to. Never mind.
Now I could break out the desoldering pump again, but since it's just the one hole, I'm just going to hold the iron up to it and push the button down simultaneously. Good lord, he does not stop. something. Something that you shouldn't have. Okay. Would you stop it? Okay. I think we're done with the soldering iron. I'm gonna turn it off. Hopefully not regret it. I probably also don't have to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway because I've definitely never taken it apart again. Well, probably never taking it apart. I'm just going to clean up all this leftover flux. A little bit of isopropyl alcohol. A cotton swab. Oi, you little butthead. Jesus. You know, some days he just just sits in my lap and uh, watches me while I solder. Days like today, he keeps trying to get into my parts drawer, steal my wire cutters. I tell you, never lend out tools, even if it's to your cat. All right, good enough. Let's see about putting this thing back to you. Oh, I can replace that button too. I totally should. Let's turn that back on. I can't believe I missed that the first time. I'm gonna plug that for now. Noise. All right, I'll worry about that later. Okay. One more time with the solder soaker. I apologize if you can't see anything. I'm not having a good day with this solder sucker, especially on camera. One of the problems is that this thing uses uh, that lead-free solder that melts at a higher temperature. And this button in particular is a really thick ground plane. 
I was just soaking the heat like crazy. Might just be it. Almost. There we go. Now I hazard to guess and say we're done with the soul bearing iron. I did already clean up the lens and the rest of the shell, I think. I think I cleaned up the rest of the shell. I definitely cleaned up the sensor, though. And it's obviously not perfectly clean, but I just want the big chunks of stuff gone. Good enough. All right, I'm done with that. Let's try and put this thing back together, eh? So this thing's still a little bit wet, which means I shouldn't be putting this back together. But, uh, I think that would stop me. What I should do and what I will do are not the same thing. Is that backwards? I think that's backwards. That's better. So yeah, if you're following along at home for whatever god awful reason, um, excellent time to go ahead and clean up your mouse. And uh, definitely, definitely, definitely wait for it to dry before putting it back together. But uh, otherwise, hell, go to town. All right, that goes there. this stupid thing back together. Found the part for that, by the way. Did not have to search nearly as hard as I thought. Apparently, if you just search by the uh, model number of the mouse, there's plenty on AliExpress. And uh, someone else found it for me, thankfully. I was just hoping for a name of the part or something that I'd go find it myself. But they went and linked me to the damn thing. But it's probably a better priced one, so I'll shop around. That's backwards, isn't it? That makes more sense.
like that uh, killer attention too. Nice and tweet. So it's kind of weird, I think, to only replace half the buttons with silent clicky buttons and leave the other regular clicky buttons. But work with what you got. And I don't have the uh, silent versions for those, the left and right clicks. Razor Lynette right hand. So you can tell from right from the beginning they planned a left-handed version of this mouse. Did they ever come out with it? That is the question. I think they did, but I don't remember. I never actually cared because lefties are weird. Who'd want to associate with a lefty? Coming together. Solder away. Now when you're playing a, uh, oh that's, that's weird. I was going to say now when playing like Skyrim, you know, sneaky archer, can actually sneak up on them. Feels like the button is, uh, I don't think I soldered that right. I'll just leave that screw half cocked for now. Double check everything that still works first. All right, moment of truth. Here we go. Well, the USB port didn't shut off, so that's probably a good sign. Yeah, how's that look? That looks terrible because I fucked that up. But, you know, aside from all the extra light bleed, the color. Not quite the color I was going for, but still pretty darn good. Still works here. So it still tracks just fine. Left click works fine, right click works fine. Scroll wheel works significantly better. I didn't really do anything to it. Can't really test the left and right. Um, but those buttons work. Yeah. I think it's sufficient to say. Um, let me test these. Yeah, everything still works, so there we go. I guess now I just got to stick these uh, back on. By the way, if for whatever the hell reason you're an engineer who uh, designs shit like this, screw covers, perfectly fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with cosmetic screw covers. However, if you have to destroy the screw cover just to get it off, you're an asshole, and the product you're designing is shit. 
I, uh, I got these off completely intact, but this is not the first mouse I've taken apart. And a lot of the time these don't come off intact, or at least they don't go back on straight. I got lucky this time, I think, but, uh, oh, this is nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have fun with this. Oh, I should have taken these buttons apart and see if I can do it. Ah, eh, probably not. At least it's nice and clean, though. Yeah. I'm happy with how this turned out. Let me turn this fucking ugly-ass logo off. Wow, I am swearing a lot. I'm sorry. But... That's a thing of beauty, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna head to bed. Have a good night. Keep being awesome. Etc. Etc.